My name is Linnea Henriksson. I'm a Swedish pop musician. I'm a songwriter and producer. I make songs about the broken hearts in Swedish. <laughs> For me, I guess that it's been obvious from the start that music was my way. I've uh, been raised in a very music-loving uh, family and my father has always had all these posters, all these pictures that I have on my wall, on these like 60s uh, stars like Jimi Hendrix. He played at the concert house, I think, in Stockholm. You can see here, uh, it cost 23 Swedish kroners and one Swedish krona to uh, put in your jacket. It was the 9th of January, 1969. Um, he has like a lot of these things at home and it's very yeah that's been, been a big inspiration to be surrounded by all of these memorabilia like uh, all these memories what music actually uh, makes us feel with style i i really like to like use my style to express myself even more. I use it a lot in my profession. Uh, I can add things that I can't say or sing about. You can see it instead. And I really like to play with all the senses that you can add what you see with what you hear. You can always add something. Uh, like on Mondays, it's perfect to have that glitter thing or with a lot of sequences because it's a Monday. Well, I love this hat. <laughs> And I love that it was uh, something unique. When I was younger and I didn't have that much money that I could like, oh, I like that, let's buy it. I really had to choose what was um, uh, what I could prioritize. And uh, then I always had like, oh, but if I'm standing on a stage, I need to have something that uh, like the audience in the way back will see. I guess the pandemic uh, affected me in a way that uh, when I didn't have like my performances to look forward to, um, I slowed down very much. I didn't become creative at all because if I couldn't go and perform, why would I even make a record? Uh, but I instead I thought very much and I can see on my new album that all these thoughts has become songs. But I, and I always write a lot of songs. My phone is filled with notes and you know all of these <laughs> that no one else uh, understands but me. Um, but it was first after the pandemic, pandemic when we finally got to have live shows again that I could finish my album. My new album is called The Lilla, um, the small or the small things. Um, that's where I've been these last years. Well, on this new album, there is a song called Du får du hand om henne, or You Make It About Her. And that's actually a comment from me when it comes to domestic violence against women, or just all those things that I've been taught as a woman or as a girl to, you know, you put your uh, keys in between your fingers when you walk home from a club or from a friend's party, because you need to be able to defend yourself. Like that's what was what we discussed when I was in, in high school, instead of why is this a problem at all? Or uh, So that song is a song I've never been able to write before. It's been a hard subject to put in like a song, but I felt I was mature enough to do that now. Inspiration can really come to you and then it just vanishes. And one way that I try to like re-inspire myself is I have this summer house where I really love to just be. And it's very close to the ocean and I usually just walk around by the ocean, listen to music that I love and see what comes to me. But also just be out. I guess that's a reason why I didn't at all uh, get creative during the pandemic because I really love to get um, like from 
from different people, just seeing people on the streets uh, with both like oh, what I want to write uh, uh, in my songs, but also like with style and everything. It's just so inspiring to see people live. So that's the signal when dinner is served. <laughs> or cake. Like hot sauces. I'm a true believer of equality. Uh, and in the music industry, there is a big work to do to make it more equal. So I'm involved in a movement and a network called um, Key Change. For example, they gather big festivals and the venues to join to make sure that it's a bigger representation on, on the stages. Right now, uh, I can't think about anything else than uh, my tour, uh, my upcoming tour. And that's also like the, the only reason that I finish an album is that I will go on tour. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. I felt so cool uh, performing in television and everything, and to be surrounded by celebrities. Like, yeah, I really love that. We actually had Agneta Schödin, who's the host for that show. Uh, we had her and me and my siblings uh, surrounding her <laughs> uh, as our Christmas card that year. <laughs> it was very cool to meet celebrities. Okay, so. You see that big one? The golden one? Yeah. That's from Small Cradona. I became third. <laughs> As all the others that <laughs> didn't become first or second. Uh, sometimes I just feel, oh shit, now it's a release again. What will everyone, everyone think? And I get a bit nervous. But mostly, and this is true, mostly I feel that this is an album I needed to do. So I'm more curious about who will follow when I take this direction, instead of thinking about, okay, what will the result be? I just needed to do this. The fact that my family is bigger now um, and to be on tour again, that's actually just been amazing. Uh, tour life and family life is the perfect combination. Um, I have like my parents or uh, my boyfriend's parents are always with us or they do something else with our child and it just feels wonderful to like show my son so many different places so um you use what you have um i didn't have a uh, tuff like you know the things that make all that disappear so i built my own <laughs> with the tennis racket that i never use i think i've used it much more uh making music than uh, playing tennis and just uh, yeah, a, a stocking. Perfect. Works splendidly. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So like all these ideas that it has to be extremely expensive to record something. That's just a myth. Stora som havet men blev helt avtätt för dig. Drömmarna slår in men varför det inte gäller din. I've just released a new album, so I'm looking forward very much to play these songs uh, and to see like who in the audience uh, that likes, likes that song or who needs that song. And that's the way also for me to get new love for my songs, even the old ones. And I have a song called SMS. That's the Swedish word for a text message. And that's a song that I've really connected with people when I perform. And so that becomes one of my favorites to perform. 
my last album and my previous album just before that uh, was much more focused on relationships and my personal life uh, like and how my heart felt uh, now since my last album I've become a mother and there's been this pandemic that stopped me from doing my occupation like I couldn't perform for me this is really a, an album from the beginning to the end and I actually also said to my record label that I wasn't interested in releasing any like singles before because it's important for me to to really present it as an album so it's hard to just choose like one song uh, but I have this song called Två delar um, which is about me longing home to my small town where I come from and um, I guess that that's like one of the songs that represents me most right now um, because I tend to think about that a lot if I live in the right city uh, and it goes a bit like this uh, <clears throat> uh, det går lite så här. Oj, jag vet inte vad jag vill Det är alltid något man saknar Vem det är saknar mest Jag har levt ett helt annat liv Så om jag flyttar tillbaka Det är inte tillbaka för mig Alla våra vänner gör det svårt Men jag vill träffa personen Det går jag menar Kan hon bara klippa mig två delar? Ha ha ha. Thank you.